Okay, we're back, and before we go do the monastery, I have an upgrade I forgot about, so I'm going to do it now. And here it's a tough choice. I'm not sure what I want to do. Both of this would be fine. My cooldowns are okay. They're fine. But if I pick this, I have 20% from upgrades and 30% from the armor, and that'll totally offset the tech armor penalty. But some more power damage would be nice, too. Um, it's a, this is a real tough choice. I th think we'll go with power damage. They'll give me three power damage upgrades and three recharge upgrades. Two shields. Two shields and two weapon damage. So 15% power damage, 15% recharge, 10% shields, and 10% weapon damage. And 5% health. I'm really not into health upgrades because I prefer to not have my health eaten up. I prefer to strengthen my shields before it ever gets down to the health. For one thing, your vision gets obscured. All right, let's go do this monastery mission. And I'll take Liara. And I might take Javik. And if Caden was here, if you pick him as the first squad mate, he'll make a comment on your biotics. Um. Ash could be really good with her Inferno Grenades. Maybe I'll take Ash. Yeah, why not? Let's take Ash. Javik would be good with Dark Channel. And I'm bringing Liara along mainly for a dialogue. But... Her Warp will be good. Singularity will be good. Yeah, that looks good. What do we have new here? What's new? Oh, that, the widow. Which might be good on Ash. Give her that. And what's new here? Oh, that thing. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. They're not really clear on what you amplification got the does. On the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. 
But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. Gonna switch Liara over to that thing. Right. Another shuttle. Still warm. It's not a shuttle, it's a sky car. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. I love the music during this mission. Sounds close. A little too close. Why can't they m meet each other without? I mean, are they really going to have sex with each other? They know what it would mean. Or are they afraid they're going to escape? What was that? Stay sharp. I heard something. Another upgrade. did it. Alright, we better go this way. Daily schedule. Military Academy here. This was the commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A map. Showing the nap point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. 
This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned. Even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. <coughs> we'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Do I want to deliver this? Oh, why not? Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her, sorry we fought. I'm not sure how I feel about doing Yasari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Right. Guess we need to regain some trust after Thessia. How did we lose trust? We told them long ago that this was going to happen. It ain't our fault. Why does everybody keep thinking this is our fault? Yeah, let's put Liara there. And Ashley over there. On it. New target.
Reaper's done. We know what they've done. We saw it on Thessia. I, th I thought the dialogue would change more. What you doing, Ash? What you doing? as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Now, if Caden was here, he'd have a line of dialogue about Shepard and his biotics. When you hit this thing over here. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Set the Asari to war. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's get uh, Liara over here. And let's get Ash over there. Ash, out there. Ash, I told you to get over there. Seriously, Ash. What the hell are you doing? Got it. <laughs> he just ran right by me. <laughs> what an idiot.
Oh, she blocked me, didn't she? She keeps blocking my shots, my, my throws. At least those guys can't block my throws. Is that it? Oh, there's more coming. Freeze him. There's still somebody out here. Where are you? Does the grenade just not go off once they're all dead? of experience they don't panic yeah you're right they stood their ground on Thessia interesting Liara's dialogue here I think changes based on the squad mate you're with so it's not only do your different squad mates have different dialogue but Liara's dialogue will change based on their dialogue. There's metagel dispensers on each side. There's one over there. There's one over there, but I don't need them. And Falaire. Rila, wake up. Falaire, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? <gasps> Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Stop blocking 
my powers, man. Shut up, bitch. Hit her. Liara. Not your slaves. I think Ashley got picked up by one of them things. Usually it's Liara that gets picked up. the reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? A lair? The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. after Rila saved our lives. You did nothing to cause this, Valer. Samara made her choice. She shouldn't have had to. My mother died because of our code. Because I'm an Ardak Yakshi. Please, leave me with her. It's your choice, but the Asari may not send ships here for a while. I don't intend to rely on ships coming for me. If the Reapers return, I promise they won't find me here alive. We're done. Bring the shuttle over. Everything settled down there, Commander? Yeah. All clear.
Commander, are the Ardot Yakshi finally taken care of? They won't be a problem anymore. Good. We don't need further distractions. How is Thessia's evacuation? Slow. We've... we've saved fewer people than I'd hoped. We'll send Admiral Hackett any commandos we can spare. I must go. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on midcom. All right. Well, where are they going to evacuate Thessia too? I mean, seriously. I mean, all this evacuation. Liara mentioned five billion Asari. It wasn't clear if there was five billion Asari in the entire galaxy or just on Thessia itself. But certainly, there's got to be an awful lot of people there. Where the hell are they all going to go? Well, I don't know. Anyway, I just decided. I don't know. I'm not impressed with the Samara meetups. And she doesn't really contribute much to the party, so... It's like, well... I mean, there wasn't really a role-playing reason to not intervene. It was just... Whatever. Something different. And so, I decided not to take that interrupt. <clears throat> Maybe add to the tragedy of the whole thing. We'll find out how... The crew dialogue will differ a little bit because Samara died and we'll find out I don't remember all of the differences when Samara dies versus when she lives normally I stop her but I, I, I have let her kill herself once before and I don't remember exactly how the dialogue goes there but we will find out in the next episode until then take it easy